Hello dear learners, welcome to the massive online open course Certificate in Mandarin Chinese. I am Shaheli Chattaraj and today we shall proceed with Unit 3 of the course where we would learn the methods of articulation for Mandarin Chinese pronunciation. In the previous unit, uh, you have already been made well versed with Mandarin Chinese syllables. However, before we move on to the method of articulation of the syllables in Mandarin Chinese, let me further introduce you to the pinyin system in Mandarin Chinese, which we shall be following in this course. What is pinyin? Pinyin is the system of phonetics that makes use of the English Latin alphabets to depict a syllable objective standard Chinese. Therefore, this transcription of Mandarin Chinese into the Latin letters is known as the Pinyin. The Pinyin system was officially adopted in 1958 under Mao Zedong in the first plenum of the 5th National People's Congress of the People's Republic of China when it was decided to have an unified system in order to introduce the Chinese syllables and the sounds in Chinese. Therefore, once you can read the pinyin, you can also pronounce all the Chinese syllables. For example, in ni hao, ni and hao are two individual syllables. Here, n in ni and h in hao are both initials or as they call in Chinese, sheng mu, I and ao, I in ni and ao in hao are the finals or as they call in Chinese, yun mu. Therefore, as you can see that the finals always precede the initials and the tones are generally put on the top of the finals. Under the situation where a syllable contains more than one final, the tone mark is usually placed above the final and in the order of A, O, E, I, U and U. So, for example, in how A and O both are vowels. So, hereby the tone mark will be placed over A and not O. In Mandarin Chinese, there are a total of 6 finals and 21 initials. Today, we shall start with the method of articulation for the simple finals. The simple finals in Mandarin Chinese are listed as A, O, E, I, U and Y. They are pronounced as A, O, E, I, U, Y. Let's start with the pronunciation of A. The pronunciation of A is just like A in the English alphabet car. So, while pronouncing the simple final A, the mouth should be wide open to the maximum possible extent. For example, A. While pronouncing A, the tongue remains at its lowest position and the position of the tip of the tongue remains neither towards the front or towards the back. It remains in the middle position and the lips are not rounded. Let's pronounce together once again. A. Ah. Following, we are going to do the pronunciation of O. The pronunciation of O is just like O in orange. While pronouncing O, the mouth opens to a medium position and the tongue remains half high and pulled towards the back. The lips remain rounded. For example, O. Next, we will move on to the pronunciation of A. Uh. The pronunciation of A uh is just like E in the English alphabet 7 N. Make your mouth flat. While pronouncing A, uh, the mouth opens to a medium position. The tongue remains half high towards the back and the lips are not rounded. 
e the pronunciation of e is just like in the english word cheese ease e while pronouncing e the mouth opening is minimum the lips remain flat and the tongue is positioned high and leaning forward following we will do the pronunciation of u the pronunciation of u is just like u in the english word rule ul u while pronouncing u the opening of the mouth is the minimum the lips are rounded to the maximum extent and the tongue remains high and towards the back y this is called the umlaut mark and it is made up of two dots on the top which is placed over a vowel in order to indicate the modification of a vowel it is derived from the german um changed and laut sound in chinese this appears only in the final y and is pronounced like the combination of u and a uh, like hue hue the final y appears with the umlaut mark only when preceded by n or l while pronouncing y the tongue remains high and towards the front now we are going to come to compound finals first let's go through what is the definition of compound finals the six finals which were mentioned earlier were known as the simple finals as they can singly exist by themselves some of the finals however can also be combined with other finals which form compound finals so example of compound finals are as follows for example i here a and e combine together to form a compound final i same with a au o ya ye u wa we un wo yao wai wa we i while pronouncing the compound final i the tongue moves from a towards i so here the a should be pronounced loud and clear and the i is pronounced comparatively softly and short i can also be a syllable by itself let's pronounce it together i methods of articulation of initials the first group of initials in modern chinese can be divided into six pairs each categorized by the identical position in pronouncing the initials however the manner of pronunciation is different here one group is categorized as unaspirated initials and the other one is categorized as aspirated initials the unaspirated initials are pronounced as p t k ch k s the aspirated initials are p t k ch k s let's practice the pronunciation of the unaspirated and the aspirated initials p p here p is unaspirated and p is aspirated we will follow it the similar pattern in the following examples for example t t k k ch ch tr tr s s here p is an unaspirated initial and p is an aspirated initial similarly t is unaspirated and th is aspirated similarly k is unaspirated and kh is aspirated and so on in pronouncing the initials in the first group the passage of breath is obstructed after that when you release the pent up air with a little force they are unaspirated let's try again p t k 
ch, kr, z. In the unaspirated initials mentioned just now, while pronouncing ch, which is written as zh, the tip of the tongue is turned up against the hard palate and then the air is let out from the passage in between the tongue and the hard palate. For example, ch. So, while pronouncing ch, be careful to turn your tongue towards the back. Ch. Here ch is an unaspirated sound and the air flow is therefore very weak. Next is ch or as it is written as ch. CH is also a blade palatal and is pronounced as CH. Therefore, while pronouncing CH, the tip of the tongue is turned up against the hard palate and then the air is let out from the passage in between the tongue and the hard palate. CH is an aspirated sound and therefore the air flow while pronouncing CH is very strong. Next, we come to the pronunciation of CH. Z is written using the English alphabet Z. While pronouncing Z, extend the tip of the tongue against the back of the lower part of the back of the upper teeth. And then with the narrow gap that is made with the airflow, Z is pronounced. The vocal cords do not vibrate while pronouncing Z and the pronunciation of Z might be related to that of TS pronounced together in English. Let's try once again. Z, Z. Next, we will move on to the pronunciation of Z. Z is depicted using the Latin alphabet C. The method of pronunciation of Z is the same as Z, but the only difference that is there in C and in the pronunciation of Z as Z and Z is that of an aspirated sound and an unaspirated sound. Here, C is an aspirated sound, Z, and therefore the breath of air let out while pronouncing Z is much stronger. Let's now practice some aspirated and unaspirated sounds together. Quan, Quan. Here, Quan is an unaspirated sound and Quan is an aspirated sound. Let's continue. Pin, pin. Here, pin is an unaspirated sound and pin is an aspirated sound. Ku, thu. Ku is an unaspirated sound and thu is an aspirated sound. Chi, chi. Chi is an unaspirated sound and chi is an aspirated sound. Ping. Ching. Here, ping is an unaspirated sound and ching is an aspirated sound. Now, let's read the following combinations of initials and finals together. Tai to, kai ke, zou cuo, bian pai, zhu chi. Ji Piao Chun Si Kung Chi Pi Jiu Ke Ji Dear learners, please remember to practice all of the initials and the final combinations along with the sound syllables and the sound pronunciations repeatedly for correct pronunciation of Mandarin syllables and the initials and the finals. Thank you so much.